Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 73 of my RPG Maker series. Last time I worked on the exit, the end point of the Skill Shrine City. Today I'm going to continue doing that. Just refining and adding and hopefully making it better through the process. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, let's stop wasting time and jump right in. So as I mentioned at the end of last episode, I'm not thrilled. I'm not set in stone with the bottom of the map here. There's just so much that could be fixed with this. Um, first things I want to do... I want to make this bottom square actually more useful. Well, I also want to change... There's just so much I want to change. Before I go into actually changing the layout of the roots through the sewers, let me also go back with the whole I want water in the area. Uh, in this case, I think it wouldn't be a disservice to make this just water, right? I mean, instead of a instead of a black mass in the center, it's still impassable for the player, but now there's a little more there's a little more flavor to it. Uh, and instead of green sludge on the ground here, like so. I could have it be in the water, like so. I think that's good. Uh, what, I'm, what worries me, what bothers me is with this green sludge here in the water, can the player walk across it? That's going to have to be tested because I'm not sure. But, I mean, any of these black areas, instead of just leaving them black, I can make them, I can make it a water thing, right? The player... Player's not going to touch it. It's not going to be something that affects the player in any way. It's still a, it's still a hurdle, is what I'm trying to say. And even better, I mean, I can do, I could do something like this, right? And then have, where'd you go? Have a little bridge over it. No, I don't want that bridge there. It gives the it gives the sewer a little more flavor. It makes it a little more unique, uh, which is what I'm going for. So I I want to be on the lookout for other things like that that I can do, like uh, this crack here, for example. I could put it, I can put it on the floor and make it like a little more worn down, a little more, uh, a little more personality to the dungeon, to the sewers. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of thing I want to work on today, uh, or off camera, if it turns out to be kind of boring. Uh, let's see, we've also got cracked tiles here, the messed up kind, so I could do, like, I could put it right there. Uh, I could put it in this room, along with the, in here. Um, yeah, so that's what I can do, but... I'm also trying to get the root through a little bit more refined, I think. So I'm going to save what I have so far. Okay, uh, let's see here. So there's one way down here. Uh, these, these two areas are basically just a loop, just like this down here, which is fine. Uh, there's an area over here. These two areas go nowhere, which is fine. But I don't have anything like that down here, except for right here. Um, I think I want another area similar to these two over here somewhere. I was going to make it this spot, but it really doesn't... There's only like three entrances to the second half of the map over here. And I want those three entrances. Uh, I just want... I guess I could make this black space here. If I'm getting rid of black spaces and making them into water like this, or shrinking them down, so maybe there's just one square here like so, 
then I could turn this into another space like this. But then they're right next to each other, and I don't... I don't know. I, I just don't know. What if I, instead, take this, run it over here, uh, you know, instead of... Let me do it this way. Take this, run it over here, so it blocks off like so, right? Uh, then I could have this be its own little space, right? I mean, I've got one here, but then I could have two, right? Um, that does also bother me, but I'll get to I'll get to that in a second. Hold on, hold on. I'm going for this one right now. Come down here, come over here, and then we can do like so, right? And maybe make this its own big room. No, because like I said, they're right next to each other. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's let's rewind and come back. If I guess I could make it symmetrical, like I have this tiny room here, which serves a similar purpose to this room and this room. But what if I expand it a little more? And then I could do the same over here, right? Then it's a little box around the middle that doesn't really serve a purpose for the player, but does spawn enemies. Uh, well, no, I don't want a complete square. Should it come out here? I think it could. Yeah, because this one goes up and down, and this one goes this way to the left. This one can go to the right. Uh, well, I think it should open both ways. I think part of the problem I have on this map is a, a lot of vertical movement, but not a lot of horizontal movement. So the player has a lot of ways down at the top, right? One, two, three, four, five, more or less. But there's not, when they get to the middle, there's three different ways to the bottom half. Okay. But there's not a lot of horizontal movement across the map. If the player finds that they're trapped, or two of their roots are blocked off, he has to backtrack up and around instead of being able to cut across the middle. I'm okay with that, honestly. Just looking at it and talking it out loud, I'm okay with that. So let's seal that back up. We can make this into its own room. Uh, do I want to make it a water thing? I think I do. I think if I'm going to have... Oh, I can't do that. I think if I'm going to have a spot like this, I, I want water around the map. Just, just in little odd places here and there. Uh, but that means I've just made, that means I've just made this impassable. Do I want to do that? This can come down here and come down here, but then he has to come over this way. This will come down here and it's still an easy way through. I'm thinking I want to seal up at least one of these two sides because it's just, maybe what I want to do is have two entrances or two routes in the middle here like this one which can come over here and this one which can come over here maybe i just have this sealed off and this sealed off i don't know i'm backtracking now i'm backtracking on my original goal i think that's not the direction i want to go so let's not go in that direction we want, we want it open. We want the player to have multiple ways through. We just don't want to make it too easy for the player. So I'm not happy with this. They come down. This room here should have more to it, I think, than just a straight through. I, I want it to be a little more zigzaggy, if that makes any sense. So how can I do that? Player comes down. I want... I want it more like this, but then maybe a 
Maybe they come out. Okay, well, it can come down and around and out this way. That's fine, except that I need more room down here. Oh no, you know what? Uh, we're going back to the whole water thing, right? I don't have to worry about that. Look, I just made... I just made an obstacle without having to worry about taking up two tiles worth of space. That's great. That's fantastic. I like that. Uh, no, I don't want the sludge to touch the water because it looks... It doesn't look great when it flows from the land in ground into the water. Uh, I could also put a crack here and a broken spot right there, I think. No, you know what I want to do? I, I want to put a bridge right there. Yes, I like that. I like that better. Putting these stone bridges over the... Uh, I mean, I... I'm thinking back to Dragon Quest 11 when I was in the sewers and there were stone bridges over the thing. I mean, stone bridges in the sewers in medieval times is not, in video games, is not a new concept, but something I want to try to emulate. Uh, so we've got this route through here and down over here. That's fine. Uh, why would the player ever walk over this way if they can come from here down into here? I don't know if I should open this up. I'm thinking about it. I want to see what it looks like if I do open it up. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Why would the player ever go why would the player ever go over here then if they walk down and around this way then they can just cut down around this way maybe if i well if i block this part off then there's this long stretch i mean the player has a choice they can go this way or they can cut through here or they can go through here. I want, you know what, instead of this tiny little box, I think I want the, the player to be able to cut through. What if I, what if I make the cut through like this? I want to seal this up? No, I don't. Not right here, anyways. Uh, let me try... Well, yeah, alright. What if I seal it up there? Hmm, I don't... I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. Alright, so we've got... We've got to cut through here. We've got to cut through here. We've got to cut through here. Oh, made a mistake there. One, two, three. I, I want to leave this open, so that's one through here, two, three. And then they can come down through here. Maybe this is what's throwing me off. Maybe I should have... Maybe I should just have two exits. Well, no, I should have three exits in case one gets blocked by an enemy. Or two get blocked by an enemy. There should be a cut through here so the player doesn't have to walk all the way down to this one. But I don't want... Alright, alright. I have another idea. I have another idea. Let me, let me clean this up here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that because... Okay, alright. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. I want the exit here. I want the exit here. I, I'm pretty much okay with this. I want to leave this alone. This needs to be filled, I think. We're just going to leave it the way it was. 
All right, so we've got this block here. What I'm thinking is that I want another entrance. Well, maybe not that. Like that. Well, yeah, I want it. I want it like that. Um, in which case, instead of a wall there with a light, I can do. I think I'll do a water hazard. Yes. Which, of course, means I have to get rid of that light, but that's easy enough, right? I just cut and paste it over here. Simple. All right. So I can have an opening here. It doesn't really serve a purpose. It's just how I want it to look, but I'm getting sloppy over here. So I want to get rid of this. Okay. So there's a problem here. There should be, I think, I think we have the cut here. We have a cut here and we have this, of course. This whole block here is bothering me now. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, let me put some water in just to help shake it down. And then another, another bridge. Good. All right. I'm going to put a crack on this bridge. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'll put a crack right, right there then. Um, so that's fine. The player can come around here. This I want to block off. Because I want the middle here. And this part here needs to change. I want the middle open though. So the player can come down here and down this way or walk all the way down here. Actually, I'm going to block this off. I'm going to block it off. I'm going to leave that little space there. I'm going to... I think I'm going to make another water hazard here, but right there. Just like that. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put a, I'm going to change that to a wall. Ooh. Oh no. This doesn't connect. That's a problem. That's a problem for me. Cause I want, I want the whole, I want everything to be connected. I don't want any open edges like that. So how can I redo this so that it works? I could shift everything down. I don't want to do that. I guess it could be a dead end, right? The player comes down here and it's a dead end. I didn't want any dead ends, though. So what can I do instead here? This part. Uh, that's got to be there so that the player can get through. So what can I do here? I suppose I could make it water, you know? I could just make it water. How does that look, though? If I make the whole thing... Oh, too far. That's okay. That's all right. The problem is, where's the water coming from? Oh, well, okay. That's, that's a dumb question. I know what I can do there to fix that. Uh, if I have a bridge... Cross, not right there, cross there, and then make this a bridge. I've already changed, I've already completely changed the layout now. They come down, they come over, they come down, they come over this way, but I wanted this to be all obstacle, all obstacle. All right, I'm going to put this back real quick, just to help. This is the only way out. Why would they come over here? Why would they walk all this way? Especially with the... Especially with the dead end right there. 
if I seal this up, they can if they come through the middle, they can come out this way or out this way. What if I don't seal it up though? All right. What if I well, no, because then it's just a straight shot down, and I don't want that. I don't want that. All right, all right, all right. Let me try. Let me try something else. I'm thinking. I want to make this useful, but there's really no need to come over here when you can get out going through this tunnel and then out this side. Honestly, this spot here makes the entire rest of the thing pointless because the player can just walk down, over, down, over, down, and out. It does kind of just make the whole thing pointless. What if I... I don't want to block it off, though. I might have to. I might have to and just change the way this works. What if I do I'm going to try I'm going to try to change it up just just for this point. Just going to try to change it up. Uh if I put No, no, no. No, no. No. If I if I make this open like so. All right. All right. That that changes things a little. So the player can't get out here, but they can just walk over and down. Um, if I put a wall or, or a stop here, and they come out this way, but then I give them an, en an entrance there. Well, I just want one, like that. Okay. All right. And then instead of an exit there, they can come out, huh, yeah, they can come out the same exit. So then there's this spot over here, but they can just walk over this way and out. All right, you know what, I'm gonna have to make it a little more difficult, I think. If I, if I leave the block there, they can come down and around and come down and either go this way or go this way out. If they come down and around, this this is basically their only way out, but they could also walk across at the bridges and then out this way. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's all right. Slowly narrow down the routes the player can take to the exit. I didn't want to make it too difficult, but at the same time, by the time they're down here in the second half of the map, most of the enemies are behind them. So I have to... I have to shrink down their escape routes to force them to play keep away with the monsters. I think... I still think this spot over here is completely pointless. There's no there's no reason the player will ever go over this way. This part down here is basically freedom. Once they make it to this square, they're basically home free. So I could just have the whole thing shored up uh impassable, right? Uh, let's see. So the player can still come down one of these areas. Come down here, out this way. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave that open. I'll leave that open. So the player has... The player has a few ways to get down into this tunnel. Yeah, but there, ah, uh, there's the problem. Because if there's still monsters in this section then they can't get to the end here. Unless I leave... Unless I leave 
open routes in this section for the player to dodge back and forth to get out. But ultimately, they want to get over here. And if there's an enemy... If there's an enemy between them, they won't be able to do that. So I can't have... I can't have any enemies spawn over here. I don't think I need to. But there has to be a way for the player to get out. What if I have enemies spawn over here, but I have... Where is it? Right here. But I have this open. Then the enemy can come this way, or come down and around this way. But then I need to change this, because the player can come down this way and then just run for the exit. I think I'd rather have it blocked off and just have the player have to get through multiple ways down here. This spot at the end, the spot at the end is just not going to be... It's like, a, it's like an end fail-safe thing. I think the biggest problem here is that I need a route that comes over here instead of forcing the player to come through the middle and run in that direction. So I'm going to have I'm going to have this thing come over and down. Yeah. Okay. So do I block all this off then? I want some openings over here too. So I'm going to redo my plan to have a spot where an enemy spawns. I'm going to redo my plan to have an opening over here. But instead of just straight down, the player has to come over this way a little, I think. Well, no, no, because I, I wanted that spot there. Uh, this section here and this section here and this section here should come out. Well, they'll come out right there. Sure. I'll do that. There we go. Uh, what am I going to do about you? I might not even get my spawn option. Oh, I could have it over here. Yeah, I could have it over here. So we'll put that back. And then have an opening like this where there's a spawn point for the enemy. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to have, instead of a wall right there, I'm going to have water. Yeah, I like that better. I definitely like that better. Okay. All right. Uh, so the player can get out here. This way, this way, and over here, coming down and around and out, like so. Uh, they can also get out by going this way, but that means I want to seal, I want to put a, some ceiling here. So they can come out and around, but they can't get out down here. They can come this way and around, but... It's blocked off here, so it's a dead end. So there's two routes out. Actually, I'm not happy with this. Uh, if I have them come out this way, why would they go this way out? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a dead end here at the bottom. I know, I know that sucks for the player. But if they come this way and then they come down and realize they're stuck, they'll have to travel back. I think what I want to do... What I want to do is... Make that a water hazard. No, 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 no. No, no. Where's that waterfall? There we go. Right there. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, that looks better. 
It's just the same problem I had earlier. If I put that there. Yeah, it's the same problem I had earlier. Uh, what if, what if this is just blocked off? What if that's blocked off? I mean, I keep going back and forth. I, I know, it must be very annoying. No, I don't want to put that right there. I want to put it right there. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, if that's the case, then I want to put this whole thing like so. There we go. And then I could have another one. Maybe right there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. So there's an exit here, which is also which also serves these two spots. You could run over here and come out. This is just This is just a dead end, but I don't like that. This is fine as a dead end. It doesn't serve any purpose, but I think what I want to do instead is make it open. Like so. Now, ah, dang it. Like so. All right. Okay. And then I can have enemy spawn right here. Ah. I can have enemy spawn right here. All right. But I still want the exit here. So if I put this wall here, then I should put the exit there. So the player can come this way and out or this way and out. What if the player Ah, you know what? I'm going to leave I'm going to make that an opening. Yeah, I don't see the point of having it be an obstacle at this point in time. Okay. So they could come over here. Actually, I don't see the point in making it an obstacle, but I also don't want to make it too easy for the player. So, this is now a dead end, basically, is what I've done. Uh, I'm going to put that there. There we go. All right, so that's a dead end. So, the player has to come down and around this way to get out. Uh, they can also pop up over here and run down to this side, but it doesn't seem to make much sense. They could run this way and come out. I want to make, I think what I want to do is make that a way for the player to get through. So if they if they come down and they don't go this way, but they do go this way, they can get out. If they come down here, but don't come out this way, they can come over this way and get out. Yeah, I want this I want this open so if they don't bother to go down this way, they can get out here. Two exits up from down from what did i say five different ways to go over here and technically speaking there's only two ways to go here it's narrowed right here with this bridge in this section i'm actually thinking now that i should block this off Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to block it off. I'm going to block it off. Where's that water? There we go. So the player can come down and around this way, but they'll have to come up and over to get down and out. Or they could come down this way and come down and get out. Or, or over here. Yes. Yes, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Is that what I want to do? What if I block this off? How will that change things? Now the player can come down this way, but they can't get out. They have to come up and over and down and out here. Okay, but I don't want that there then. I don't want that there. I want the exit to be pushed over like right here instead. 
Because now if they come down this bridge and out this way, they have a little bit further to travel. If they come out here, well, I mean, they're traveling over this way, which is basically the same distance. Anyways, or they come down this way, up and, up and around and down and out. Uh, I'm actually going to make... Yeah, I'll make it in a, I'll make it two entrances right there. As I said before, at this point when they're in this section of the sewer, there really shouldn't be any enemies between them and the exit. So it's kind of a personal choice, really. They come out this way. If they come down this way and around Uh, if they come down this way and around, I don't... There's something bothering me about forcing them to come down, around, up, and over, just to come down again. Like, if I was going to force them to run all the way down to this end, it actually makes me feel better. But that's just dungeon design, right? That's force the player along a linear path. I'm trying to make it more like Pac-Man, where there's multiple ways for the player to run through. I just don't see the point of having two entrances here like this. Maybe I should move it over a little. Maybe I should move it over a little, like right there. Because the player's going to already travel pretty far, get to a dead end here, and then have to come up and around. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it... I'll make it right here. Oh, shoot. Too far. I'll make it right there. In which case, I don't need... I don't need this. Right? I can just put... There. Yeah. Okay. Alright. But then what's this down here for? Eh, nothing. There's no purpose. There's no purpose for it. I really don't need a purpose for it up here either. This is just kind of extra. So is this down here. Well, I guess I could put... I haven't seeded the area with treasure chests yet, right? Or enemies. There could be a spawn over here. If I make this a spawn, then there's always a threat to the player down here. Even when they're in this final section and all the monsters are behind them up here in this area, there's still monsters down here that they might have to get past. I think this is how I'm going to leave it. I still need to put some more water down. I'm not like these black holes here and whatnot and over here. I still, I still want to get rid of them. But uh, I've, I've gone long enough, I think. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you, everyone, for putting up with my rambling. Until next episode, stay safe and God bless you.